Why, hello everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Ultra Moon Island Scan Edition. In case you can't tell, I have a little bit of laryngitis. I have a little bit of a cold, courtesy of my daughter Valerie. <laughs> she had a runny nose all day yesterday. And so, yeah, I'm recording this on Thursday. So welcome to Thursday. And it's um, the 30th of August. August? Yeah, 30th of August today. And we're going to be scanning for for a Pidgeot. We'll get a Pidgeot for our island scans today. So, please excuse my voice as I try to muddle through this whole thing. Now, <laughs> I've got to fly over. Firstly and foremostly, because I, oh, I forgot it was still recording. Okay, let me just fly over back to Ula Ula Island. I think we want to be somewhere around Route, route 10, huh? I guess I was not going there. Okay, we need to fly over to Route 10. There's, <laughs> that's not where we need to be. So it's over this way. We'll have to go through Maleli City to get to it. But that's better than going up on the top of Mount Honoluki, whatever. <laughs> the observatory. Words. Okay, so before we get on to this, we should probably scan our QR codes. And today's QR code that we've selected randomly is for QR codes for Rayquaza. And so Google has gave us, generated a nice little selection of QR codes. And we'll see if any of them become Rayquaza. All right, here we go. Let's launch that QR scanner. It's kind of hard. I bet it's hard doing this on a screen. Okay. This QR code does not work. Or at least it doesn't work as well as I would like it to. Okay. We got two things here from a thing called Anime TV QR code for Shiny Rayquaza and Shiny Zorark. We'll see if these are actually accurate. And... It's a bioplume. <laughs> Shiny Requiza equals Vileplume, male. Okay, I wonder if it's because it's from a different uh, country, and it turns out something- Well, no, if it's from a different region, it doesn't do anything. And we got a Cacturn, a female, and uh, our upstairs neighbor dog is barking. If you could not hear that. All right, this one claims that it's a Requiza too. We'll see if it is. And it's a Rhyperior. We haven't seen this one before. That's interesting. All right. Let's try this one. QR code requires a shiny. Is what this thing <laughs> reads here. Hmm. I wonder if it'll work for my region or not. Hey, it totally does. Interesting. What's it gonna be? A Civi Sage. All right. Okay. Um. Interesting. Okay, so we got a code for Blissey and a code for Rayquaza, and it looks like a shiny one at that. I don't know if the Blissey's shiny, but the Rayquaza looks shiny to me. It's a Go Goat. Okay. Oh, I've already scanned this code, so I can't do it again. That's fair. Let's try this one. And... It's Rayquaza! We finally got the Dragon Flying Pokemon Rayquaza. It... It didn't take us... Well, Mew was the last scan we got last episode, so this happened a lot sooner than normal. Next one. Okay, that one just ain't waking. Now this one's Mega Rayquaza. Let's see if that does a thing, and if it actually is Mega Rayquaza. It's not. It's a neat arena. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Here's the, another shiny Rayquaza. 
Oh, can't be scanned in our system, so it must be for another, um, word, another region other than ours. And this is, of course, we can't have a video without, um, <laughs> what is this game called again? Animal Crossing. We all, we can't do a video without having an Animal Crossing art or something or other in here. So let's see what it becomes. And it's a Krabby. Awesome. All right. Um, we might have already scanned this one. Nope, we haven't. This is a QR giveaway for a Wish Chansey. V create something or other, but it's Slurpuff. This is a QR code for something called Ooplex Innovation. I don't know what it's doing in a search for Rayquaza, but we'll scan, try to scan it anyway. And it ain't happening. Okay, that's fine. This one is apparently a Wobbuffet, according to the center image. Is it a Wobbuffet? No, it's a Swaddle. Well, okay then. And that is all the QR codes we need to go get ourselves a, a Pidgeot. So let's, um, <laughs> nice picture of my trash can again. Uh, let's just go ahead and scan Ula Ula Island for this Pidgeot. Oh man, I want to use a Mega Pidgeot so much. And I'm sure there's a place where we can get ourselves the mega stone for this creature. All right, let's go. Let's go pick it up. It is on route 10. Actually, before we do that, quick save. And we're just gonna run. Actually, no, let's, let's ride Tauros all the way there. And here we are, route 10. Now I wonder, I wonder if it's going to be a bird that comes out of the tree at us. Because this is where that happens. What do we got? It's a Pinko! Okay, so that's a normal encounter, clearly. I need to put um, Garchomp in the front of the party. There we go. All right, let's explore this first patch of grass, see if we get our Pidgeot. And there she is. Oh, hello there, Pidgeot. Man, you are gonna become mega, and it's gonna be so great. Level 29, female. Interesting. All right, let's try throwing a quick ball at it and see if it stays in one of those. Right, captured in the quick ball, that's great. Always makes things so much easier. All right, well then. No nickname for you, come back one here. It's put in a box. We'll go ahead and use her. Use it some other time, and scan is ended. Let's get out of here. I guess it's, is it easier to fly than to just run? All right, here we are at the Pokemon Center, ready to have a good look at our newly acquired Pidgeot. Let's see here. Relaxed nature with the keen eye ability, has the exclusive move of Steel Wing, and has Feather Dance, Twister, and Quick Attack. Let's see, what does the relaxed nature do to its stats? Well, it has increased defense, but slower speed. That's not that great, actually. Is, I remember P Pidgeot having a decent speed stat. Mm. It's not necessarily a fast type flying type Pokemon, but it ain't slow either. <laughs> so anyway, I guess. And Keen Eye, I think, makes its accuracy increased. Yeah prevents Pokemon from lowering the Pokemon's accuracy. So, we probably could give it moves. Mm. 
That doesn't mean that its accuracy is increased. It just means no one can decrease its accuracy. Well, anyway, I'm going to get myself some rest. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm also going to quickly pick up some more quick balls, but I'll probably do that off camera. Because you guys already know that you pick those up at the Route 8 Pokemon Center on Aquila Island. So, I'll go do that off camera. If you, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you guys are sick, please do yourself a favor, get yourself well. And I hope you get well soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.